Right, I've got a little welding bench project which I'll show you at some time. And uh, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm normally welding very thin stainless, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I've had a look, a, a lot of watching of Jody's videos at weldingtipsandtricks.com, which are excellent. And I'm just going to have, as I've got a nice fillet here, a little go at walking the cut down there like that. Uh, just for practice, haven't done it for years, we'll see what happens. Yeah, well I'm going to need a bit more practice at that before I win any competitions, but I'll keep going. Uh, I can't give you arc shots, so they're really not good enough with the camera I've got, but uh, as I say, go to weldingtipsandtricks.com if I can say it, and you will learn a lot. My second attempt here is a little bit better. I left the filler wire in the puddle, lay wire technique, and just kept uh, get the exposure on it. Just kept a little bit of pressure on it, and it does look better. Um, not too unhappy with that. Uh, you can't leave the wire in the puddle always. If you want to see the leading edge of the puddle and ensure you've got full penetration on some types of joint, you have to dip in and out. But for this job, it'll do. Okay, the machine I've got here is uh, McCampy Minarch TIG 180 MLP. It's pretty basic, but it's done me very well for several years. As I say, usually welding very thin stainless, very low currents for the foot pedal. Uh, today, 115 amps, welding this uh, 6 mm box section. Uh, it's, it's no problem at all, it's effortless. It's uh, pretty simple. You can scroll through what the functions here. Pre-gas, upslope, not using today. Main welding current, pulse I'm not using today, but it's easy to set. Downslope, two seconds, sweating fuel craters, and post-gas, seven seconds. And if you leave it for a second, it just goes back to display the, the main welding amps. Okay, I've changed my process slightly. Um, I've dried out some old 7018 rods that really need using up just to see really how the little Kempi welder performs uh, when it's arc welding. Uh, actually, it went really not too bad. It's not very pretty, but it is adequate for the job. I need more practice at that, as you can see. Right, in my humble opinion, I might be getting a little bit better there. Time I've wire brushed that, I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see really how this machine performed. With a 7018, I've got 95 amps set. Oh, it's all flashing there on the camera. 95 amps. Um, Taking Jody's advice from weldingtipsandtricks.com. Uh, select the current where you can hold a tight arc and it won't stick. And then hold a tight arc. I'll just wire brush that and see what it looks like. Well, I guess it's not too bad. I'd like to see it a little bit smoother than that, but practice makes perfect. Uh, TIG welding is a lot neater, but uh, the reason I changed is, uh, part of the reason I changed, this is quick and easy and cheap, um, and it's about 30 degrees in here, I've opened the doors and I've got the benefit of a nice breeze, which I can't have when I'm TIG welding. Uh, the nice thing about stick welding, you can do it outside in the wind. Okay, well, my uh, attempt at walking the cup didn't look too bad when it was cleaned up. Uh, my stick welding leaves a little to be desired, but it's good enough for, for this job. I've got the legs on the bench, and what I'm going to do now is turn it over uh, and just see, it's a half inch plate on the top, to see what additional bracing it might need. I've got some more steel, but I haven't really quite decided how to finish it yet. Okay, I've put it upright just to see what I got 
how rigid it was going to be. That's not too bad. Now the legs did pull on me when I welded them, they moved slightly, which I was expecting. But as luck would have it, they've all pulled inwards reasonably evenly. Um, the tubes, the ends of the box sections were cut nice and square. But what that means is it's very easy to just wedge some more boxes, same length as the top ones. I've got a box section along the top here and a piece the same length in here. If you can see that, I need to get further back. And I just hammered it in, bumped it level and tacked it and I'm going to do the same on the ends. And it looks like it's going to square up nicely. It's uh, standing level on the floor, all the legs touch the ground which is quite a Quite a good sign, I think.